Hi, this is Michael Stevenson, president of Transform Destiny, the top NLP training company in North America, and I'm here with one of our trainers, Sherry Cutter. Hello, everybody. Hi, Sherry is one of our most seasoned trainers. She's been with us for a few years, and uh, tell us, Sherry, what um, what was it that got you into NLP? What made you decide to take this journey? Yeah, I've been thinking about this question because I don't. I, I think there were many roads mm. that led me here, and um, I knew about NLP many years ago. I actually knew one of the founders of NLP, mm. and I was fascinated by it, but yeah. I was also doing other things and going to school and you know, just many things. And later in life, um, I got interested in hypnosis. I got interested in how the subconscious mind played a part in my work, because I have been a physical therapist and working with body mind for many many years and then my business partner at the time uh, coach Chris uh, said how would you like to go take a three-day coaching class with this guy and he walked in and brought a computer <laughs> and I watched Michael and I'm like he seems like a down-to-earth guy like you know okay let's go to a coaching class and <laughs> started the coaching class and never never left basically <laughs> literally never left um chris and i at that time joined uh everything we could did every class traveled everywhere and just it, it just made such a difference in my work at that time with physical therapy and also transitioning into doing more practitioner uh, work and they Michael and Kayla were running an ad for a trainer. <laughs> and I, I just have to say this because I tell my classes this now, like on the first day, you have no idea where this will take you. You have no idea what this three-day class is going to lead you to. Have an open mind. If you had told me I'd be training four years ago, I would have said, yeah, right. Yeah, I would right. have laughed. <laughs> I would have laughed. So they were hiring and I reached out and they were super supportive and have been ever since mm -hmm. and uh, here I am. I seem to remember that first training you were a bit skeptical you kind of had your arms crossed in the first well, day with the, the core coaching. guy yeah. you know why because <laughs> physical therapists are kind of snotty and the word coaching was mm. something that I was not familiar with Chris was as an occupational therapist much more in that field for sure. but for physical therapists yeah. Coaching, yeah, it's a roll your eye kind of thing <laughs> at the time, at the time. And um, um, the thing is, I coached all day. Mm. I coached all day long. Yeah. That's what I do Just in physical therapy. Mm -hmm. And so having a structure, I was just taking that coaching class though yeah. it was amazing so I might have been skeptical like day one yeah and then just scared <laughs> day two yeah. and three yeah I think that's you know a lot of people come in that way they their first day they're they're like I'm not really quite sure what this is and you know um, it felt it, like it's, that yeah and then like by day two you start to realize like hey this is pretty cool and then by day three you're like oh I found a life path yeah. you know that's that's, I think that's how most pe most people get is they don't necessarily come into this thinking I'm looking for a new career or anything like that. But so often by like by day three of a weekend training, they're like, I finally figured out what I want to do, which is to help people. Yeah, I think it was for me to incorporate it initially into mm -hmm. my work. And then when I learned more and more from the NLP trainings, um, just realizing that that was the way I wanted to go. And it, yeah. I didn't go into it, you know, like, for myself, so to speak. Right. I mean, I was definitely work oriented, mm -hmm. just not sure what yet, but um, it completely changed me yeah. and my life and my life with my family and friends and work. So although I didn't go into it for myself in that aspect, it absolutely became for myself, yeah, which, which is the first step in I anything, right? Mm -hmm. One of the things I love about Transform Destiny is, you know, normally if you go to an NLP training company, it's usually a person who went through the trainings, they got certified, they opened up their own training company, and that's who you train with. And sometimes that's good, right? There are some people that, that sort of develop a little bit of a celebrity and people are like, I want to train with that person. But, you know, we, as we have grown and expanded and become the largest NLP training company in America, I can't do all that myself. And so over the years, it's been, you know, me being the trainer and then, you know, hiring on a couple more people and a couple more people and that team has grown. And I think one of the neatest things about Transform Destiny is that we have a, a really wide variety of personalities so at the front of the the front of the room, the people who are training. And so tell tell everybody why, um, what's unique about you as a trainer on this team? Obviously NLP is standardized. We're teaching NLP. We have to teach, you know, NLP is the same no matter where you go. The content is the same, but the way it's delivered 
is you know very much down to the personality of the trainer so what's that's very true what is that for you? yeah I think for me well a couple things one is I think my experience of working with people my whole life yeah. because I've been working really since the 90s and, and really forever before that so I have a lot of experience with different kinds of people and and issues that people bring I'm very open to letting people be themselves mm -hmm. and bringing a level of authenticity like I bring my own authenticity in um, I guess everybody does like you were saying everyone's diverse but mm -hmm. my classes tend to connect I tend to be a connector yeah. of people and so I connect with people and I allow the class to connect and I don't know providing a very very warm environment for people to be themselves yeah. and people to just share things that they wouldn't necessarily always mm -hmm. share so I feel I like that's it. a big part I know one of the things we hear about you very often is you're the nurturer yeah you know, the you're nurturer, the one that brings yeah. that nurturing every, every 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 one of our trainers has a very different kind of a personality brings a different thing you know like a, a different um, sort of not quality that's not the right word but a different uh, flair or a different um, dynamic to the trainings so yeah. I love that and you know, it's take. I've grown into it too, and I, I think um, I, I particularly love teaching a practitioner and master practitioner mm -hmm. as well. Just I like the depth. Yeah. I like when we can take that time and go deeper into the training. Absolutely. So and I actually, one that. of the things we do at master practitioner on day one, we have people take a picture of themselves, and then after the personal breakthrough session, they take a picture of themselves again, and very often physically look different. Which is, you know, that's something interesting for you being a physical therapist for so many years. Is how the mind plays into the body. They can't even really be separated. It's mind body. No, it is mind body. As yeah. cliche as that term is, there's not a better. I've thought, you know, there's not a better term. I've yeah. thought about it, and uh, yeah, I really came into it because working with physical therapy for so long, and why do some people? Have horrific things happen to them mm -hmm. and can get past it and other people have seemingly I use that word cautiously but seemingly minor things happen and they're very stuck yeah and that's what led me into the hypnosis first and then from there the NLP which you know combining the conscious and subconscious mind sure. just makes all the difference right. look me. at the work of dr john sarno and, and yeah. dr hammer totally. and you know these people and how that it's uh it's always amazing to me that you know especially when i do personal breakthrough sessions with people i'll have people come back a month later i follow up with them and i'll go michael you'll never guess what happened and like oh i'm gonna guess oh, what yes. happened and they yeah. go this back pain i've had for 20 years it like disappeared the day after we did our session we didn't work on back pain but you know the, just the release work of releasing the emotions and what it has on the body has got to be fascinating for you yeah it's been amazing work, yeah. it's been amazing combining that and um and just i love the trainings i love the questions mm. that are asked to me and i'm always always learning yeah. when i teach like mm. always learning because the questions come and just Every time I teach, it takes me a little bit deeper. Mm. So. so obviously you're not just a trainer. I think this is another thing that makes us different is there are unfortunately many people in the field who they'll go to a weekend training, they'll go to a seven day training, go to 14 day training, 18 day training, back to back, back, back. And then suddenly they're NLP trainers and they've never seen a single client. They don't have any practical experience. They don't really understand how to, they know the scripts. Um, you know, so for you, like one of the things we require at Transform Destiny is all the trainers must be practicing. And Transform Destiny is a practice and, and um, you know, if you ever want a hypnotherapy session or uh, coaching sessions or a personal breakthrough session, we do all that. And so for you, let's let's shift gears from being a trainer to the one-on-one -on -one sessions. What's the, what is the thing that, um, how does that drive you doing one-on-one -on -one sessions with people? Um, I love what, well, there's two things. One is I love what people present with <laughs> or think they're presenting with. Mm -hmm. And then the best part of NLP is just digging it down to the roots and finding out what's really going on. So I love yes. that part yeah. in the sessions and just seeing the shifts and just, you know, the connection again for me with people through those sessions is huge. So um, I think the shifts that people go through are just the word and you know life changing but it's more it's even more than that mm -hmm. it just shifts all perception and all all their thoughts all their beliefs it changes the fiber change. of their reality yeah. yeah 
That's really, I mean, in a lot of ways, when you become an NLP practitioner and master practitioner, that's what you're becoming a reality bender. Mm -hmm. You know, you are changing people's realities for sure. People that come in and they're stuck and they think there's no way out, and then suddenly they find the way out, or they've got this emotion they've been dealing with and they think they've that's had, it. They have I to think, deal with it. I think you just hit yeah. it. Like the, they were so stuck in that box, mm -hmm. and then they find their way out, and yeah. that's incredibly gratifying. It's always funny for me because I'm I'm a pretty high introvert, and. Um, you know, as an introvert, we're the kind of people that have very few number of friends, but very deep connections. And it takes so long to create those deep connections. But then when I became a hypnotherapist and then an NLP, NLP practitioner, it, you know, I could spend an hour with somebody and feel so deeply connected with them at the end of that hour. And that was odd for me as an introvert, but it became something that, um, I don't want to use the word addictive, but it became something that was very pleasurable for me to have that deep connection within sometimes just 45 minutes or an hour, and to know that you you literally have touched somebody's life and their life will never go back to that old thing that they were dealing with. Forever, their life has changed because of the little ripple that you just put in it. I think that's exactly true. I just got goosebumps. I know, me too. <laughs> no, I think that's it. Is I've, I've done a lot of things in my life. I've done a lot of different courses and a mm -hmm. lot of this and a lot of that, and this is the one that just you just feel it so innately and that exactly what you said people change and shift and it doesn't come back mm -hmm. it doesn't come back it's really gone and I think that's the big difference from so many of the things I've done to this right and, and, and I will say too like you know I've like you I've done many courses I started with the silver mind control method as a as a teenager and you know psycho cybernetics and and um, you know I have done a lot of different modalities and I, I find Many of the modalities of healing that you can do, they, they require an intuition. And intuition requires many, many years sometimes of practicing before you can get that intuition. And so, so many um, you know, modalities out there are so complicated, so many ifs and thens. But with NLP, like one of the things we tell people in the trainings is just follow the script. Just follow the script and it's going to work. Or you have to understand the script and that's where the training comes in. But it's one of the things I like about NLP is it's, it is very... Um, structural. structural. Yes, I agree with that. Because um, that's what I, I realized when I took the coaching class was that I was looking for a structure mm -hmm. of how to present information to people. Like I was getting tired of hearing myself give advice or whatever yeah. it was, you know, mm -hmm. and having that, even the initial coaching, just having that structure. And everything is very structured. And it's good because NLP can be. You know, not, not hard to explain, but a little bit hard to explain. So having the structure in the courses yeah. so completely, I think, makes it uh, much easier. Uh, and it's something much you don't easier. have to spend four years going to school to mm -hmm. learn. <laughs> you mm -hmm. know. Um, so thank you for sitting and talking with me, Sherry. Obviously, Sherry's uh, one of our trainers. She's doing trainings all over the U.S. at every level. And uh, yeah, look out for Sherry at the, an upcoming training near you. Look out for me. <laughs> I just want to say training has been amazing. And uh, what do I want to say? Just, again, keep an open mind with this. And you don't know where this is going to take you. And I would just love the opportunity that Michael and Kayla have given me to do this. So awesome. thanks. To